Hello and welcome back to my channel Code with Vinay. Today we are going to talk about how to find the HCF of an array of numbers in Java. HCF stands for highest common factor and is also known as GCD which stands for greatest common divisor. First of all, what is HCF or highest common factor? HCF is the largest number that divides two or more numbers without leaving a remainder. Let's say we have an array of numbers and we want to find their HCF. We can do this by finding the HCF of each pair of numbers in the array and then taking the HCF of all the individual HCFs. That is, first I'll find the HCF of first two numbers that is this one and this one. And then whatever comes, we'll find the HCF of that number with the next number. And then whatever comes, we'll find the HCF of that number with the next number. And this process will be repeated for all the numbers stored in the array. So let us discuss how to find the HCF or GCD of two numbers. To find the GCD of two numbers, we can use the Euclidean algorithm, also known as the long division method. This algorithm involves finding the remainder of one number divided by the other and then repeating the process with the remainder and the last divisor until the remainder is zero. The last non-zero remainder is the GCD. Let us understand this with the help of an example and for the sake of this example, let's say I want to find the LCM of 18 and 30. So what we'll do is we'll divide 30 by 18. So 18 into 1 is 18 and the remainder is 12. Now what we'll do is we'll bring down the last divisor that is 18 over here and then we'll divide again. So 12 into 1 is 12 and this time the remainder is 6. We again bring down the last divisor that is 12 and then we divide again. So we'll say 6 into 2 is 12 and this time the remainder is 0 and the last non-zero remainder that is this is our GCD or HCF. Also note that the order of elements is not relevant. Say for example, instead of 18, 30, I say it is 30, 18. Now the division will be, we'll divide 18 by 30. 30 into 0 is 0. Remainder is 18 and then we get 30 over here. And from this point onwards, this is same as what we were doing earlier. So there is no need to check which one is smaller and then swap and then proceed with the long division method. We can directly proceed with the division. If the number or rather if the divisor is not smaller than the number, then we'll get to the same point after one division. And now it's time to dive into some coding. Now let's see how we can implement this in Java. This is the skeleton of our program. We'll be having two overloaded find HCF methods. One find HCF will be accepting an array of numbers and the other is a helper method to find the HCF of just two numbers. We will be using the helper method in the find HCF method accepting the array to make our program elegant and simple. So let's begin with our helper method that is the method which is responsible for doing the long division. So we'll say long division over here. Now we need the temporary variable. So I'll say int temp and then we'll have a loop. Now the loop is to continue while b is not equal to zero. So we'll say while b, note that b is our divisor. So while b is not equal to zero, our loop will run. And then within the loop, we'll hold the value of our divisor into the variable temp. So we'll say temp is equal to b. And then we'll find the remainder of a divided by b and store it in the variable b. So we'll say b is equal to a remainder b. And then finally, when this is done, we'll store the value of temp back into the a for the next iteration. So we'll say a is equal to temp and when all this is done 
towards the end of the function we'll return a so we'll say return a over here now before proceeding further let me comment out this incomplete method and we'll first test whether our find hcf helper method is working or not and for that we'll go down and we'll say system.out.println find hcf and then i'll give those values which we already know the answer of that is the one which we used in the demonstration so we'll say 18 comma 30 and if this is working we know that the answer should be 6 let's run this so i'll run the program and here we are we are getting the answer 6 which means that our helper method the method which is performing the long division is working perfectly now let us proceed on with the next part and for that i'll again uncomment my method we'll begin by creating a variable for storing our final answer the hcf or the gcd whatever you want to call it and then towards the end of the function we'll say return hcf we'll then set the initial value of hcf to be the first number in the array so here i'll say is equal to numbers of zero our next task is to iterate through the remaining array please note we have already read the first value that is numbers of zero into the variable hcf and now we have to iterate through the rest of the values that is the loop will now start from one and then we'll say that while i is less than numbers dot length we'll keep on incrementing the value of i within the loop we'll find the hcf or rather update the value of hcf and for that we'll say find the hcf of the current hcf that is the variable hcf with the next number that is numbers of i so this line will find the hcf of numbers stored in the array in pairs first hcf of numbers of 0 with numbers of 1 that will be stored back in the variable hcf then the hcf with numbers of 2 and so on now we'll modify our main method to test the find hcf method accepting the integer array let's make the change we'll go down and here where we were passing the integer variables i'll remove that and we'll pass the array a now the array which we are passing is containing three values 15 18 30 we have already seen that the hcf of 18 and 30 is 6 now hcf of 15 and 6 will be 3 so let's run this program and see whether this is working or not so we'll go up and i'll run the program and we are getting the answer 3 which is our correct and expected answer and that's it for this video you can now use this method to find the hcf of an array of numbers in java i hope you found this video helpful and if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below in the comments thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video till then happy coding your feedback is valuable to me i want to make sure that my videos are clear and helpful you can follow me on the internet on any one or all of these channels